Time crystals. <laughs> You can come to the watch. <laughs> Time crystals. So scientists have created a new kind of matter um, with an exciting name, and that's time crystals. So a crystal is a structure in which a pattern of atoms or molecules repeat in space. However, these repeat in time because they don't actually ever reach equilibrium, which is the time in which they would stop. Mm -hmm. So this is a strange new form of matter that is always moving but has no energy in it. Um, this would be, it's being described as having somewhat of a resemblance to jello. When you tap jello, it jiggles. However, this would be like jello that never gets tapped and it's just always jiggling. Ah. Forever. They don't contain energy. Usually scientists study materials uh, when they reach equilibrium. This will never reach equilibrium. So they're always just going to be looking at it in that way. It's very fascinating and almost sci-fi if you think about it. Um, they are, are hoping that it, this application can be applied to quantum computing in the f future. I would say something like a Rick and Morty plot, uh, but in real life happening with this. It's, it's an interesting form of matter. The way it was created uh, was researchers at the University of Maryland hooked together 10 iterbium atoms and hit them with two lasers multiple times to keep them out of equilibrium. Though the atoms did settle into a pattern, they could not reach equilibrium, meaning they're just perpetually in motion. I don't know if we could apply this to breaking all the laws of physics, but we're well on our way. It's, it's an indicator as to the direction we're going, but th this is the reason why I do like coming on Nerd Alert when you guys asked me to come because there's a lot of clips that I feel that I can uh, obviously have a conversation about and a lot that I'm familiar with. I'm a, everyone's a geek at heart, I believe. It's just whether some mm -hmm. people want to really admit that they are. We all know you are. But there's other clips where it's almost like an education process where I need to remind myself outside of this weird loop that I'm in when it comes to this current job of mine where I'm like, all right, here's what happened in the sports world. Oh, wait, Donald Trump's causing the world to end. Oh, here's what happened in the sports world. Oh, the Donald Trump's <laughs> happened to cause the world to end. And I'm like, all right, stop in the middle of that. Oh, we do that and, too. Yeah. And I do that too, except I never veer off into the sports world. I just, I just <laughs> you ignore sure? the You sure? I feel whole like you're thing. such a sports enthusiast. I, I'm wearing a Quidditch jersey, which That's is a, a sport. fictional sport, ah, a fantasy yeah. sport, but not fantasy sports. But if it was a real sport, would you then be into sports? Probably not. <laughs> uh, I know people do play Quidditch and I'm not into it. This is a wild tangent. No doubt. Um, but, but yeah, these are the things that like they educate me a little bit. So I'm like reminded, by the way, amidst all the atrocities that are going on, there's amazing people out there who are looking to kind of just continuously push the envelope, continuously ask questions as to what goes on in science, physics, chemistry, and I just need to remind myself once. It doesn't mean I'm an expert, I'm not gonna sit there and go, Kim, yeah, I think as soon as we apply this to quantum physics that that might not be the right subject I'm talking about, but as it's soon just, as we apply it to it, it's gonna end up this If you look at this, it's like thinking in a whole new way yeah. because we've, we've, we're used to just, just decades and decades of research being conducted in one way and it being a very effective way of learning about the world around us. Um, but now there's a new created form of matter which defies those expectations and requires a new set of rules for understanding that may be applicable to future uh, materials or beyond or even energy. And it's, it's fascinating to see how science is always growing and changing and it's a way for us to understand the world around us and to better the world around us. I think it's a reminder, uh, at least here, that there is infinite learning that could be happening and there's infinite uh, greater that we could be working toward and there's just un unimaginably different and amazing things that could be helpful to human life as we know it. If we, uh, very well said, but it, and also if we designate the right amount of funding and don't try to limit the how people can vocalize like how science is affecting the well, world and i don't want to tie everything back to the I, orange the one is, but it's so <laughs> frustrating because it's like when you have <laughs> environmentalists fair. silenced vocalizing the changes that are going on that might affect policy that might affect the way this world's going you can't help but not tie them both together when you're being like all right look at this groundbreaking new matter that has been identified here by what I can only assume to be a, a, someone from a background of immigrants based on uh, the name and... Norman other, Yao? Yeah, Norman Yao. Yeah, he's... I'm, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna safely assume. And also, by the way, on another tangent of that, Eureka Alert, not as good as Nerd Alert. Oh, thank you. But, but the, the point of science is, 
it's not this nebulous thing that's blocking people from having their religious beliefs or whatever have you. Science is a way of understanding the world mm -hmm. and science is a way of bettering the world. And science is not necessarily anyone's enemy. It's, it's something that will exist and does exist and helps us humans make sense of things as we know them. I mean, we, we don't understand our place in the universe even. Yeah. And we're looking here on Earth and finding things we didn't know could ever exist. And it's, it's astounding. It's a reminder that we don't know everything, but we could know more. And I think that is a lesson that I like to uh, repeatedly learn and impart on Nerd Alert. And I think that is something that you can take from this because we still... The time crystals are a very um, difficult to grasp concept at this point, but it is groundbreaking and it is something that could certainly be applied to unknown ways in the future. Audience, what do you think of science, um, understanding, development, research, and the idea of discovering new things? Please let us know below in the comments and please like and subscribe for more.